An analysis of Louise Erdrich's The Red Convertible. Louise Erdrich was born in 1951. She has Chippewa heritage and grew up on a reservation in North Dakota. She is drawn on her North Native American heritage for the characters in most of her stories. She seeks to reflect the kind of characters who are rarely written about, often existing between two cultures. Her most famous book is entitled Love Medicine. It includes a number of interconnected short stories that take place on a North Dakota reservation. The Red Convertible is a selection from Love Medicine. By utilizing Lyman's first-person perspective in the narration, we are able to focus on his thoughts and feelings about his brother's demise. If this story had been told from a third-person perspective, the reader's attention would likely have focused primarily on Henry. By choosing this point of view, this becomes a story about how Lyman changes as a person. Clearly one major theme within this story involves looking at the effects of war on the individual. In addition, the bond between brothers and the responsibility they have towards each other is examined. Lyman uses the car as an excuse for the brothers to work together and bond. He also hopes that this will allow Henry an outlet from his depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. Within the discussion board, we're going to talk about whether Lyman's approach was effective. It's important to recognize that Henry clearly chooses to die at the end of the story. He has made an effort in saying goodbye and giving away his things. He goes swimming with his boots on, and he doesn't fight the current. So in our discussion board, we're going to talk about why Henry has chosen to kill himself here. Within the story, the convertible itself becomes a symbol. We're going to discuss what, the, what it symbolizes to Lyman, what it might symbolize to Henry, and then discuss why Lyman pushes the car in, into the river at the end of the story. 